Hey guys, welcome back. I love my crossbow. <laughs> oh, I just noticed I could do that a couple minutes ago. It's hilarious. Anyway, we are back on Ragnarok. I'm going to take away this because we're still getting that weird framey issue over here when we have the HUD on. Everybody loved the new Wyvern and a couple people came up with a really cool name for it. We're going to call it Cynthia because <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, it's similar to Syntac. Cynthia, it's a cool name, I like it. Um, so we'll do that in a little bit, I'll, I'll get to that at some point. But uh, I do want to start off this episode by coming up here. And we want to place a couple ballistas on top of the uh, the tower thing that we have going over here. So that's uh, that's something as well that I've wanted to do for a little bit. If I can actually freaking get up here. I know I can just walk up, but that's boring. What the hell? Who's Is this mine melt? Slime melt, what the hell are you doing here? He's just chilling up here. Oh, he's got some pretty good stuff. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, we should we should like paint him or something. Actually, that would be great. Oh, I'm I'm definitely gonna paint his armor or something at some point. Anyway, uh, we'll do that. Oh, wait. Oh, we can make him have like yoga pants. Look, he's got like the the swim shorts on. Okay, we'll do that as well. Okay, we have a lot of stuff to do today. Holy crap. Anyway, I wanted to place a couple ballistas up here. Um, we might as well just chuck them all onto the hopper, I guess. And I can just hit E on that one. I want to place these up here because I feel like the top of the tower kind of needs something, right? And also, there's these little kind of cubby spots right here. I don't really know. Uh, let me... How's that? A little bit more. Uh, Man, it's hard to line these things up. Is that good? I don't even know. All right, we're just going to leave it there. That looks good for me. Awesome. Okay, and I also brought some spear bolts uh, to put in there as well. Just one. One each just to have the actual spear bolt on it, and I want to kind of point them up. Make it look like there's like, you know, dragons or something that I need to shoot at. So yeah, we're just going to put these up here. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to look pretty cool. Uh, ugh, crap, this is the worst part though, trying to line them up. I'm just going to go kind of rough with it there. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, yes, so today we're going to do this. We're going to build a cool dino uh, storage slot over here on the side. You can see I've already kind of... Uh, built out a little bit we're just gonna do that all up there and then maybe also we'll get to breeding some deodons or something we'll see i just want to kind of do a couple things in this video because i feel like we haven't we you know we've been focusing on getting like one project done and i have like a bunch of tiny little like projects and stuff that i need to do um and maybe we can like lash a couple of those out here today see i'm not sure if i'm gonna put another one over here because i feel like that's just gonna i've kind of wanted to change the stairs over here and move that in further I feel like I will now because of this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I feel like I want to. I don't know if this is a great spot. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the stairs here, but there's not a whole lot I can do. Because uh, I believe, yeah, you can't really get, like, a decent stairs that is, like, you know, on an even, I guess, thing. You know, like, if I if this is, like, a 4x4 four four, uh, blueprint right here, you know, 2x2 two two or whatever, not 4x4, four um, but there's nothing that I could have as like odd whereas this building is odd on each end So I can't really put it in the center or something like that. So really sucks really does and also the whole building's strangely shaped So I can't do like an outer stairs. Oh man. It's just it's a whole big issue. It really is Anyway, so yes, uh, that's kind of the plan today Make sure that you guys hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any point Can we make it? Yes and we're down. Also, I placed a bunch of these cool shield things around here, uh, which look really good. Uh, these are, I believe they're kind of newish into the mod. There's also a bunch of weapons that they added. And also, I added this over here as well. And I'm, I want people's opinion of this. This is from the, uh, what is it called? Advanced Drafts mod. Um, let me just type in... Yeah, so that's from the Advanced Mass Advanced Rafts mod, and there's three of them. Now, there's no Lightning or uh, Ice Wyvern yet, but maybe they'll add one eventually. But I was thinking maybe we could find a good spot for them. Maybe not here, but, you know, somewhere else, potentially. Uh, if they had an Ice one, then I could have, like, whatever is on each floor, you know, I could, I could have, like, the head of that one at the front or in there or something, but they don't have the Ice one, which sucks. So maybe eventually they'll add it. But, uh, yes, anyway, let's get to the project over here. So, we want to kind of, like, build a wall around here and build, like, a roof up. And that's where I'm going to store the majority of these guys over here. Now, I've just kind of shuffled them all together. We'll sort them all out after. But, like, I've got so many creatures here that just don't have a decent spot to go. 
and I need to find a good spot for my utility dinos. Maybe this can be it up here, potentially. We'll see. Uh, also, at some point, not yet. <laughs> He's like, you're like walking into the wall, buddy. You okay? <laughs> at some point, we will uh, we'll sort out some sort of stable or something like that for the horse and the unicorn, and maybe get some more horse breeding going as well. I really like um, Purple Rain over here, but I feel like we need a couple more really cool looking mutated horses, so we could probably get into that at some point. You know, Ragnarok is a map that, honestly, the horse is kind of the creature that you need to have. We don't need to have it, but I mean, it's really cool to have. Uh, so, you know, if we can get a couple really cool looking horses, that would be really nice. I was very confused what the hell this was for a second, but then I realized it's a unicorn with a Pralavi up its butt. <laughs> also, we yeah, we need to find a spot for these. I just have so many dinos and no spots for them. So yes, let's get to work over here. So I've got a bunch of materials on here. I kind of just want to build up pillars and then put a roof on top. Not going to be super, like... I guess high tech or whatever, I'm not going to take those yet. It's going to be pretty, oh crap, I can't even carry all these. It's going to be like relatively simple, but uh, I think it's going to look good because the castles and keeps mod stuff is just amazing. What number do I have my crossbow on? Number five, there we go. All right, so we want to go, oh, are you kidding me? I meant to like move my camera up there. How does that look? Is that tall enough now? Hmm, is that going to be tall enough? It might not be. Uh, I think I already have the... Uh, yeah, I do. So let me just grab five of these. Oh, they weigh so much. Are you kidding? Um, okay, we gotta, we gotta get up here a little bit. There we go. Awesome. Alright, so now we got that up there. I should be able to... What do I have this on? Okay, I think that's placed right. Should be able to... Yeah, there we had it, there. So, this is what it's gonna kinda look like. Is that out far enough? Yeah, that looks good, actually. And there's gonna be plenty of space for relatively large dinos to walk up here. If Therizino could fit up the stairs without hitting its head. Pretty good, so I guess that's the height that, the, that we're gonna go at. Like, four pillars up. We're going to go all the way across with that, and maybe we will also come out on this side a little bit as well, because I have the stairs three wide now to get all the creatures up, because they can't, not all of them can fit up, like, you know, the one stairs wide uh, gap that I have, like these ones over here. So I had to redo this a little bit. And I was considering just putting stairs all the way across, but I thought that might look a little bit plain. Maybe we'll get some of those cool shields and put those up here too. Hmm. We'll see. Anyway... Let me, uh, let me get to work over here. We, we got to place another ceiling on the other side there. We can do the roofs after, actually. Yeah, let's just, uh, let me, can I get up there? Can I, like, chill up here somewhere? It's going to be a thing. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. And then what we can do is we can actually just grapple and get up on top somehow. Maybe if I go... Like this, and then we do... By the way, people keep asking how you do this. If you want to know how to jump when you're on the grapple, this is not a mod or anything that may, that lets you do it. You gotta, like, reel fully in, keep reeling, and then just press space. And you'll do it. It's pretty cool. It's really handy for when you're trying to get up uh, little gaps and stuff like that. Uh, so we gotta come... Oh, I thought that one didn't place for a second. We gotta come all the way across to the other side. And we need to actually have these ceilings here because those roofs are really weird. You can't just put, like, slopes or anything. So, uh, you kind of have to just put, like, ceilings up. Like, as you can see, what we did over there, we, uh, we kind of did it a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, we, we, uh, we can go from the very top here and, and one can be peeking from this side. The other one can be coming from that side. I think it's gonna look pretty cool. So how many more do we have to go? Okay, just a couple more here. All right, let me see. One more. Okay. And the pillars come down from here. And we need to get ourselves the... Uh, do I have a parachute on me? It's going to make it a little bit easier just to, like, not take fall damage all the time. All right. Uh, okay, uh, I'm not going to be able to take all this. What do I have on me that's heavy? Got some metal. Um, yeah, I could probably, like, take half, maybe, can I? Yeah, I, I can manage half of them. 
All right. So we could probably place the pillars over here, and then we could just put these pillars back. That's a great idea. Perfect. Why did I not even think of that? Why do I keep doing that? Damn it. All right. I gotta drop that stone and that metal back into the Anki now. Oh, man. All right. Okay. You can go... Oh, we don't have any more. Uh, oh, the ceilings can go back. That's awesome. Uh, how much weight do I have left? Okay, I can take a couple more here. Uh, put this back. Put that back. Um, hey, you know what? Let's, let me just put my fur armor in here. We might be able to take the whole lot. Put my rifle in there and some of these things as well. You, you. What else do I have? Can I take... Where's Where's the stack on? Where's the stack? Did I take all of them? Am I dropping them? Oh no, I did take them all. Okay, what the hell? I was very confused. I was like, where the hell are they? Oh my god. Sometimes, you know, when I'm trying to do things, I just don't see them, okay? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get back up there. Uh, you just hit up right here. Let's reel right in and then land up on top of the roof. And that's perfect. That was a great landing. I'm really proud of me. Um, oh, this is going to be difficult. Look at this. Oh, yeah. No, we got we to gotta snap it that way. That's how you do it. Okay. How do I get them here then? Without having to be down on the ground. Can I go like this? Give me different snap points. No. Oh, yay. There we go. Okay. So it kind of works. It's it's pretty, pretty difficult to actually get them in place. But uh, it works. Oh my god, please. There we go. Come on. Alright. So I think I'll finish this off because this isn't very entertaining. And then we'll be back. <sighs> well, this looks pretty nice. I like it. I really do. Okay. Let me chuck all these things back and we will take some of these. Alright. So, we're just going to place these little battlements all around the side here. Just to kind of keep my dinos from not running off. Also, how are the aloes doing? Do they have... Are they in range of food, I wonder? Okay, there is four. For a second, I could only see three. Okay. Um, I hope they're in range of food. i got to check that. Because they're pretty low level, and they'll probably start pretty quick. Uh, there we go. Also, we got a bunch of eggs so far. Which is really handy, because eventually we'll probably tame, like, a Tapshara, and we'll probably tame... Some other things as well. Also, I want to do some, like, proper, like, Allosaurus taming rather than just, like, random low levels like these. So, uh, we'll, we'll obviously get on that eventually. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look at this from afar. On top of the Whivy Wyvern. Alright. Oh, man, that looks epic up there, by the way. Holy crap, those ballistas make a huge difference. Oh, man, I didn't even notice that. We, like, jumped down. We didn't even take a look. Hey, other ice wyverns. Hey, what's up? Um, let's take a look at this thing over, over here, though. See if it's good. I hope it is. I mean, like, it's pretty plain. I'm not really going for something spectacular. Yeah, you know what? It does the job. It's going to look pretty cool once there's a bunch of uh, creatures on there. And it takes away from, like, the squareness of the whole base here. And that's the kind of... That's the dream with this, with this base. It's going to be, like, sporadic. There's going to be things, like... In random-ish places, you know, like there's gonna be the dino pen there. Uh, we have a brewery underneath the castle. We have a massive castle that's like strange, like it's strange and funky looking, like weird shapes on it and stuff. And then we got a giant wyvern tower, a giant flyer platform here, um, you know. And then we have like lots of space over here for other ideas. You know, we'll probably make some more like dino pens over here and maybe even like a full-on breeding building i know with i know that we said we were gonna do the uh breeding area underneath the uh wyvern tower but i don't know i kind of feel like i want to just build like a massive breeding barn or something like that so we'll see we'll definitely see we got a lot of space we got a lot of time to do all this and we'll get to pretty much doing all of the uh the base up here and also we still need to work on the entrance of the base and we're getting pretty close here so I should probably figure out what I'm gonna do over here because I'm not really sure hmm if anybody has any like cool ideas like or anything like that maybe like do a mock-up and like send me like a screenshot on Twitter or something I don't know but uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do here and obviously we can change the measurements a little bit but uh 
Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I was thinking two little towers or something and maybe like a gate, but uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe we could fit a behemoth gate between two of those. That would look pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll check that up. Anyway, let's get to it over here. We got a bunch of creatures that we want to stick up here. So I want to, you know what, we got to keep the pigs over here for now because I do want to actually do some uh, Daedon breeding. Not for mutations, we're just going to breed one and uh, actually, you know what, probably going to breed a couple. Maybe like two or three. Because I'm going to need them for when we're going to do the boss fight. So I want them to just be around and uh, gaining up like passive levels around the base. Like we could just go level them. What the hell is the Capro and the Mantis? Did I walk in on something here? Jesus. God, not on the video. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we gotta get some data on, like, getting some, uh, some freaking passive experience and stuff, just so we can level them up just before we bring them into the boss arena. Can you maybe, like, stand correctly, please? What the hell's wrong with you? You're standing all weird now after what you were doing over there. <laughs> oh, this is so wrong. Alright, maybe let's not put it on the side. I feel like that's the issue. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll put it right there. What the hell? Can you just be proper, please? Thank you. There we go. Awesome. All right. So, uh, sabers, I guess we'll put those over like on one side or something like that. To be honest, I'm not really going to be using the sabers that are not the amazing mutated saber that we got, but, uh, I don't know if I want to do some more saber breeding on here as well. Hmm. Like there's so many things we could just do, but like I've done a lot of things already, you know, like I've already done bunch of saber breeding saber taming like do i want to go back and do some more i don't really know do you guys want to see some more saber breeding we could probably try to get a couple mutations or something but uh i'm not really sure and we still there actually still is an idea that we wanted to do on this series but i guess like the series is like for me it's like 50 episodes in so i don't know like we could probably still do it it's uh it's kind of a secret i don't really want to talk about it too much but it's kind of it's going to change the gameplay by a huge amount I just, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know if we're still going to do that on here. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, yeah, we're just going to line up all the creatures here. Just putting them on the side there. So yeah, that, that special idea, I'll, I guess at some point when a bunch of us from the group get like a chance, we'll do like a little bit of a meeting and just like talk about that, uh, whether or not we want to do that. And uh, a lot of people were in the comments the other day were saying that uh, they would like to see a, some sort of griffin breeding mod on here. I would like to see something like that too. We'll add one eventually uh, if the other guys want to see one as well. Um, we'll add one eventually and uh, and get some griffin mutations as well. Like legit in survival. That would be really fun. Because I have checked out that griffin breeding mod in the mutation factory series. Uh, we gotta walk the Pralavias over. So yeah, we have checked those out in the uh, Mutation Factory series, but uh, I've never actually like got a chance to tame one. I don't know if they have the same stats or anything. They probably do. They're probably just griffins with the ability to breed, but uh, I would like to actually test them out at some point. Now, where am I going to put these guys? Because I can't even line them up or anything. I, I, I mean, I could get a whip and like whip them into into the right spot. <laughs> Maybe I'll just like put them over here. I can like jump off the side or something. They'll walk right up to the edge. Alright, we got one of them right up to the edge. We just gotta get the other one now. Alright. Hey, how you doing? Actually, you know what? Hang on, we could probably like punch it into place. Apparently not, he's not moving. God damn, are you serious? Are you just- Oh my god! <laughs> I nearly- I nearly knocked him off the edge there, holy crap. I nearly just like... Killed him. No, I would've killed him, but like, you know. Oh wait, no, there's like- Okay, never mind. All right, we gotta wait for this weird lag to disappear so he can fly forward. I think he just did. Oh, can we bury them up here? Ooh, that would be cool, actually. Is, did that punch work just there? Is he gonna be in place? Are we gonna have an issue here, buddy? Come on, go over there. Oh my God. There we go, two more should do it. This is so weird, like, what the hell's wrong with them? Why can't they just... And one more forward. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing, come on. <laughs> Alright, that will work. Can I bury you? Do you? No, we can't, okay. Interesting. So, let's grab the Dodic. Uh, we still got plenty of space over here, it's really handy. This is gonna be so handy for, um... Just, like, storing up all the dinos. Seriously, like, just having, like, a special spot that's not, like, out in the middle of... 
like out in the center of the whole place is going to be really handy. Uh, I'm going to put the Dota here. I'll put the Anki over beside it. Um, I thought that was a scorpion. That tail, the shadow of the tail looked like a scorpion for a second. I was, I don't know, I was a little bit worried for a, like for a split second there. I was like, what the hell is happening? There's some sort of scorpion in here somehow. Which isn't really possible. Scorpion can't just... I don't even know where scorpions spawn on this map, actually. I guess up near the volcano. Hmm. Yeah, not too many scorpions on this map. Interesting. Uh, let's just get the unicorn over here. We'll bring purple rain over as well, I guess. And, uh... We gotta put my other griffin back in the right spot. I kinda, like, left it there and didn't put it back. But, uh, I guess we can do that as well. Ooh, come on. Let me over there. Man, this cool horse. Freaking love this horse. I love the fact that we started off the series by like riding on horses for like the first 30 episodes or something like that. It was great, you know, and like I'd love to continue and go around all the time. But like at a certain stage, you kind of have to settle down and make a base, you know. I still need a freaking saddle for this one. Holy crap. Let's just go ahead and make one. I'm just going to make a saddle because like otherwise I'm just going to forget. Also, I tamed up a bunch of uh, Ichthyornises because uh, we do want to get some some otters tamed on here and I don't know whether or not I would have already thrown out that episode before now I don't know when this I don't know what episode this is right now sometimes I kinda record them in and out of order so Anki why don't I have Anki saddle learnt anymore oh you know what we have a blueprint when the hell did I make that Anki saddle then maybe it's a uh... I don't know when I would have made that uh, oh crap, there's the Anki Saddle blueprint. Oh wait, no, I think we actually have an Anki Saddle itself, don't we? We might, you know what, wait, which one of these is Saddles? Uh... Okay, you're obviously Saddles then. Anki, Anki, Anki. We might have actually had some sort of, like, lower tier Anki Saddle on them. Uh, I don't have any Anki Saddles in there. Alright, let's just go ahead and make it. Just make the frickin' blueprint, waste materials. I mean, I could just learn it, but... Yeah, this is more fun. <laughs> Alright, do I have enough for this? Oh my god, it's so expensive. It costs so much hide. Look at that, 14,000, that's crazy. Uh, take that, take that. What the hell? <laughs> uh, put that back. Alright, this Anki is actually gonna go down to the forge. I'm finally gonna just do that. Um... We're going to name it, uh, Flanky. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb name for a really cool looking Anki. Uh, and we're going to go with weight. It just has so many passive levels from just being in the base the whole time. Let's actually go ahead and just fly that down to that uh, forge spot. And then we can uh, sort out the rest of the creatures. We have to also breed the Daedons. Do we have time? Yeah, we definitely will have a little bit of time to get that done. Oh my god. It's so framey when I have my HUD on for some reason. It's so dumb. Do I have them? Yes. Alright. So here's the forge down here. You guys have seen this spot many a time. But uh, I will also remind you guys that this is the best spot on Ragnarok for metal down at this spot right here. Now for some reason some of the resources are not spawning back and that's I I don't know what that is like they used to spawn back and I don't think the buildings changed at all but uh yeah so that's kind of something maybe like build your little building a little bit further away from uh, the actual spot like maybe it's because there's a wyvern over here now possibly let's leave him right there He'll land so yeah, there's a bunch of really high quality metal nodes over here. Over here? <clears throat> Sorry, I talk all day for a living, guys. When you hear voice cracks, that's just because I work hard, okay? <laughs> uh, it happens sometimes. Voice gets strained, you know? Um, but yeah, there's there's a bunch of metal nodes right here. You can get a bunch of metal from them, as you can see. And then there's a couple as well uh, across the water and everything. There's like just a huge amount around this whole area. And it's like possibly one of the best spots for metal on Ragnarok. In my opinion, it's probably the best. Uh, I apparently do not have a GPS, I guess. Oh, you know what? It's on the other Anki. I dropped it, remember? 
That's dumb. All right, I guess, yeah, screw it. I'll just show you on the map. Uh, I can't see, man. We're at like 3840, I'd say. It's pretty, like, I mean, it's pretty easy to know where I am by just looking at the terrain, but if you're curious, it's right across from the swamp on the, uh, on the coast of this island here. So yeah, I guess I'll just put the Anki way over here inside of the forge. Flanger's got a really cool looking wyvern right here. That's similar to what I have as well, actually. Uh, m one of my wyverns. I think my one has like a black crown though instead of a white one, does it? Not sure. That is so cool though. <laughs> Alright, it. Let's bring the Anki inside here. He can just chill on here. What else you got in here? Flinger's in here. What the hell, man? Are you just chilling in here with your monkey? What the hell? What you got? Take a little drink of water. <laughs> He's just chilling in here, I guess. Uh, Alright, let's get back onto the river and get back up to the base. And then we should probably try to start the Daedon breeding. This guy. Get a little bit of dinner. Alright, back up to the base. Man, I seriously love this wyvern. Some of you guys have been uh, sharing like screenshots of your really cool looking ice wyverns as well. I've seen really awesome ones, like ones that had like the same blue as my one, but with purple instead of the green. That's it's just so amazing. I think they they honestly have the best colors, the ice wyverns. They really do. They're very vibrant colors. Now, I just thought it was going to be, like, pale blues and, like, whites, and I didn't even know we'd be able to get, like, a black, but I thought maybe, like, grays and stuff as well. Uh, but, no, I mean, we got really awesome colors with these things. Seriously. So, so amazing. Can we... There we go. Yes. All right, let's get some breeding going, then. Uh, do I have, like, a little spot where I can put them? I guess I can put them into here. And they might not be able to get it back out. We'll see, though. Just chuck you right there. Let's go get the other one. Alright, come on, buddy. Oh, man. Alright, so you can chill on here with the other one here, and uh, let's get them on uh, the wonder. Behavior, neighbor wondering. And unfollow. How are you guys? Are you guys breeding? Yes, they are. Awesome. Alright, hopefully they won't move too much. Let me actually take this, and I can place it down beside them so they're, like, stuck in a little pen. Why can't I pick this one up? All right, screw it. I'll just use my demo gun, then, if you won't allow me. And let's place this one down as well. Sweet. So they should pop out a baby any minute now. Um, what the hell is this? Is my snake? Oh, there's my snake. Hey! You just chilling there, buddy. Uh, also, we got Bigfoot there as well that we need to put in. Bigfoot and uh, Mind Melt's Capro is here too. Interesting. So uh, I guess we could put his Capro over here for now. I mean, if they're opposite genders, then that means Capro eggs, which I'm kind of happy about. Let's put him over here. Grab the snake and just kind of put him over here, I guess. Snake near the horses is probably not a great idea, but... All right, come here, buddy. Come on, a little bit closer. Uh, change your fall distance. That's right, over here in the corner. Oh, no, unfollow. All right, we're okay. Perfect. That works out well. All right, so, Daynon, how are you? Do you have the baby for me yet? Man. Oh, actually, yeah, crap, I completely forgot. We never even, I never even picked out a name for the Uteranas. Yeah, we gotta do that at some point. I know a couple people have some really cool names, but I haven't really got to uh, reading all the names in the comments yet, so. I guess we'll be back when the baby is born. Yeah. Well, hey, we got a baby. Nice. All right, let's check this thing out. Doesn't look like it's mutated, it's not mutated, it's absolutely fine, but it is a female, which is what I needed. So, uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna... Yeah, we'll obviously have to get some imprinting going on this thing. Let me... There are... Oh, it's bred again. Oh my god. I kind of AFK'd for like a split second. I had to go downstairs and do something. But, uh... Come here. 
But I guess they're gonna pop out a new baby, so we might as well stick around for this. Hey, buddy. You got enough food, or are you dying? I think it's maturing fast enough to not die, but I will give it some food anyway. Uh, we got 38 seconds. We're okay. Alright. Also, I feel like I'm still missing something. I do need to get him up into the pen. Possibly. I don't know what my mouth's really doing. He doesn't play on here a huge amount. But uh, I'll probably just st stick it over into the pen. Otherwise, it's just going to be randomly in my base. Because <laughs> he doesn't come on here, so that's fine, though. All right, here we go. Four seconds. Hey, nice. It got the white from the dad. Doesn't look like it's mutated, but we might as well check. Nope. And it's also a female. Oh, yes. Okay, no, wrong one. Uh, do there. Sweet. Unfollow. Amazing. All right, so we got two Daedon babies here as well. That is awesome. So, yeah, I'll probably do some imprinting on these things, like, over the next... I don't even remember how long these things take to grow up. But anyway, yeah, I'll do all the imprinting and everything. If I can get them fully imprinted, that's awesome. If not, whatever. Uh, but, yes, we're going to be, like, making a bunch of Daedons to use in the boss arena. Like, well, not a bunch of them. We're not going to go in there with a pack of Daedons, but probably two mate-boosted Daedons would probably be, like, the best thing to do, I think. I honestly feel like the Daedons are kind of necessary for the boss arena sometimes. Like, especially with the dragon, you know, you got that DOT that it does. It's just crazy. Let's put the griffin over here. Nice. Okay, so yes, um, that's probably going to be it for today, guys. We're, uh, we're going to do all this other stuff, going to fix up the base a little bit. I am going to build something for the Hyenadons, the Trudons, and the Dimorphs at some point. But for now, I might just chuck them up here somewhere uh, or else into that little building over there or something. We'll see. Anyway, yes, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.